It's no secret that there's a shortage of housing here in the Mid-Atlantic region. While the spring market typically brings more inventory, many buyers right now are looking to new construction communities for their next move. Buying a new home offers the opportunity to move into something that's brand new, no one else has ever lived in, it has all the finishes you're looking for, and without having to compete with multiple offers from other buyers. And there's some things you need to know about buying a new construction home in Maryland. I'm realtor Rebecca Cole with Berkshire Hathaway Home Sale Realty, and I help people just like you buy, sell, and relocate to Maryland. And today, I'm going to give you all the information you need to know before you walk into the builder's model home. And the first thing you need to know when you're considering a new build is that the model home you're walking through is not the home you're buying unless you're planning on adding every single available upgrade and option. It's understandable that the builder would like to showcase every possible upgrade that they offer because they're in the business of selling new homes and upselling is of course part of the process. I like to relate buying a brand new construction home to buying my first car. When I was finally somewhat established in my mid-20s, I walked into the car dealership and I picture myself cruising off the lot in the car that was on the showroom floor. Now, by the time I got to the financing office, my beautiful new car had been reduced to a base model hatchback and the only feature was floor mats. No air conditioning, no sound system, and certainly no automatic locks or windows. In fact, I was outraged that floor mats were even considered a feature and not a standard item that was included with the car. Now, buying a new construction home isn't quite that bad. Most new homes in Maryland come with your basic base level kitchen, appliances, uh, central air conditioning, and a water heater. Although most builders do not include a clothes washer or clothes dryer, and some of them do not include refrigerators. You want to note that a base model water heater and air conditioning unit may be smaller or different than the one that you see in a model home. I was recently touring a new construction community with a client, and I noticed the water heater was considerably larger in the model home than the home we were touring that was near completion. When I inquired with the sales rep, she explained the size of the water heater was based on the number of bathtubs in the house and not the number of bedrooms, which is more of an indicator of how many people may be living in the home and using the hot water. And since a bathtub in the primary bedroom was considered an add-on and an upgrade, this four bedroom, three bathroom home was fitted with a 60 gallon water heater for a family of four or five. The same goes for kitchen cabinets, flooring, countertops, lighting, bathroom tile, vanities, and appliances. So when you see a community advertising single family homes, low 400s, you can count on that being the floor mats only base model and spending anywhere between 20 to 40% more in upgrades, depending on what you decide to add to the home. You'll also wanna remember that the model home at a new build construction site looks nothing like what your home will ever look like because the reality is nobody is living there. No one's cooking dinner every night, doing homework at the kitchen table, there's no laundry piled up, and there are no personal belongings or toiletries in the bathrooms or bedrooms. A model home is impossibly immaculate, and it's easy to confuse buying the home itself with an unrealistic vision of what life would be like living in the new home community. The next thing you need to know about buying a new construction home in Maryland is that the buyer usually is expected to pay 100% of the transfer tax. On a resale property, the Maryland contract of sale is written where the buyer and seller split the state and county transfer taxes equally. So 50% on the seller side and 50% on the buyer side, minus any first time home buyer tax credits that may apply. On a new construction home, all of the transfers typically fall on the buyer side. This is important because when your lender is estimating your closing cost, they need to know to include all of those transfer taxes on your estimated funds to close. A lot of builders will offer incentives and closing cost assistance if you use their preferred lender and title company. So if you're using the builder's lender and they're giving you a credit towards closing cost, your closing cost funds are still gonna be higher than they would on a resale because you're absorbing all of the transfer taxes. Another thing to know about buying a new construction home in Maryland is that timelines are fluid and a builder contract gives them a lot of leeway when it comes to delays and settlement dates. 
Weather-related delays, material shortages, workforce shortages, all these things can impact when you're able to close on your new home and move in. If you have a specific timeline, such as you're selling your current home and you're relocating or need to close on a certain date, maybe your lease is ending and you need to move directly into your new home, you wanna have a contingency plan in place in case there are delays on your new construction home. And the most important thing you need to know when considering a new construction home in Maryland is that the sales representative who greets you at the new construction community works directly for the builder. They are not a buyer's representative or a buyer's agent, and their sole interest is in representing their employer, who is the builder. In the state of Maryland, you're entitled to have your own buyer's representation when you're buying a new construction home. And in many cases, the builder will even pay for that buyer agency commission. However, it is imperative that your realtor schedules the initial appointment and they register with you with the builder as your representative. When you're interviewing agents for the job of representing you on the purchase of your new home, make sure you inquire about their previous experience working with new construction and new build homes. Ask for references from clients they've previously helped when purchasing new construction in the past. The whole purpose of having that buyer representation is to work with someone who is able to advocate for you throughout the transaction. At a minimum, your realtor should accompany you to all of the appointments, review all the sales contracts and addenda, assist in all negotiations, participate in inspections, as well as guide you through the lending, title, and closing process. If you would like more information on buying a new construction home in Maryland, buying, selling, or living in Maryland in general, my contact information is below. And if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and like or subscribe so you don't miss any of our content.